Hey there. On this episode, we're going to talk about buying your way into traffic and customers and finding people to be attracted to your offer. Today is day 25 of the One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels. I'm documenting and sharing how I'm applying this actual challenge in my life and in my businesses. And I started out with the project for the Women's Summit and I ended up picking a different project because I backed off and moved the Women's Summit to January now, which just kind of gives me a breather because I've got a lot going on this fall and the holidays and everything, just like everyone else. And so I want to make sure that I could do a stellar job with the summit and I didn't want to rush through it and getting everything together in 30 days. So I'll be using and applying this exact same process to marketing and promoting that particular project, but I'm doing it for a different project right now. Today is all about a continuation of the Dream 100. Yesterday we talked about earning our way in and building relationships with different people that already have the people that we want to serve. Today we're talking about buying our way into that. And it's a really similar strategy. The strategy is the same, but today we're going to go and we're going to look at the people that we added to what is called our Dream 100 list yesterday. And we are going to look at them and say, do they have a platform that we could advertise on? Are they on Facebook Live? Do they have a Facebook following that we could target and advertise on? Julie showed us how to do that yesterday to find out if they're, um, I forgot the word already today. It doesn't matter if they're, if they uh, are a category or whatever that you could search on Facebook ads, for example. Do they have a podcast? Do they have a platform that you can buy ads on? That's what we're going to find out today. So I took my list. Let's see. I've got my list. And I am actually doing my Dream 100 list. And I've done several Dream 100 lists before. But I started a new one as part of this assignment yesterday. And I am now today going to go through this list. And it's all women because I'm doing women for the Women's Business Summit. So my, my trick, my cheat, my strategy was I went into my inbox. I went into my uh, my Gmail account where I've got lots of lots of unanswered emails and I looked at who are the women that I'm following. Obviously I like them. I followed them. I've gotten their lead magnet. I've I get their emails. So to help me research and build a relationship with them, I can go back and I can read the emails from them. I can search let me pick a name here. Um I can search Christina Rowe and I can put it in my email box and then I can see all the emails from her. I can skim and scan and read those emails and find out what she's doing, what's important to her, what she's offering, and how do I have something that would be complementary to that with respect to the Women's Summit or the project I'm doing that that she would be, it would be good for her and her people to be exposed to the Women's Summit. And I'll do that for everyone on this list today. I'll go through, yesterday I went through and found all the people that I'm already been communicating with and some of these people I've been communicating with for years and some of them I've been building relationships with for years and some of them have already said yes to the summit and I haven't even really asked them yet I haven't really gone out to pursue anybody on my dream 100 in terms of being guests on the summit I got three more guests yesterday or three more speakers yesterday so I am really excited about this I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble filling the summit with amazing women and amazing training for the people that participate in the summit, for the business women, women business owners and female entrepreneurs who participate in it. But my hack today is to go in and find now, okay, of each of these people, do they have a platform? And on their platform, do they take advertising? Yes or no. So if, um, let's say Maria Folio, Fornio, I can't, I can't even say her name right. <laughs> Does she take ads on her podcast or on her other platforms and if so can I buy an ad on those that's how Russell Brunson got in front of Tony Robbins's people for the last decade as he's been building his relationship with Tony it's only last year that Tony actually endorsed him and did a Facebook live with him as he launched his book expert secrets up until then Russell had been going to all his seminars going to all his trainings building relationships doing things for Tony for free for a decade so that's that's the kind of commitment you have to have with some of the earning your way in. But you can buy your way in right now. Like he's been buying traffic and to um, Tony's following for years because Facebook has made that possible. So today our challenge is to create a Facebook ad. I watched Russell's video as he talks about this and about the strategy behind buying your way in. It's the same strategy, the same people. It's just you want to figure out if there's a way that you can buy because it's faster to buy and get on their 
in front of their people than it is necessarily to build a relationship with them. But I think buying on their platforms will also help you to earn a relationship more with them because they will see you, they will notice, they will notice that you're participating and interacting with them and providing great value for their audience. And that's what everybody wants. We all, I, I know as a podcaster, I only want to air shows that I know the people that are on my podcast as listeners are going to benefit from or learn something from. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Unless there's entertainment value because some things are just entertaining and funny. So today, Julie's going to walk through how to actually do your first Facebook ad. And since I've done lots of those, I will watch the video later today, but I didn't need to watch it this morning before. I made this summary. So what are you up to today? Again, I'm doing pretty well with the with the challenge now. I'm pretty much caught up. I'm waiting on a couple graphics and I'm working on cleaning up my membership site. I've got all the former, or all the structure and all the things in there. I'm just cleaning them up a few at a time, a couple a day to make sure that they all look good and consistent and test and make sure all the links work. Because I think I've got a hundred different things in there. So I couldn't test them all on test today a couple of days ago. See, so go out, make it a fantastic day. I will be back tomorrow with day 26 of our one follow away challenge summary.